Hello folks, my name is Motorcool and today I'll be showing you how to make uh, curves and curved corner pieces in Hammer. Uh, I already made a tutorial on this on Facepunch, but uh, the technique I used there is slightly different from what I'll be showing you today. Uh, the, the link will be in the description if you're interested. So, uh, using that technique you can get something along the lines of, uh, of this in your map, uh, where you have an arbitrary shape, so any shape of your choosing, like so. Uh, duplicated and aligned perfectly around a uh, curved brush segment like this. So this this technique is incredibly useful, but it's quite cumbersome and quite mm, hard to do, I guess. Um, what I'll be showing you today is much, much, much simpler and much faster to work with. Uh, so using it, you can get something like uh, this in your map. Uh, so this is this is basically a perfectly round um, dome shaped thing, which is all on the inside. It's made entirely out of brushes, and uh, those brushes are perfectly aligned among themselves. Uh, you may be able to see those little um, yellow spots there, uh, where the no drop texture peeks through, but. Uh, don't worry about it. It's it's it happens because um, the the algorithm used used by the clipping tool is imprecise and it it causes little floating point errors. But don't worry, uh, the shape will look perfectly round in game. Um, a uh, yeah, uh, Top Hat Waffle uh, used uh, a version of this technique uh, in one of his videos, but he never went it went into much detail on how the you know never went into much detail on the technique itself so yeah yeah let's get started let's just close all of this uh, so what I had in mind is uh, I'm basically gonna make a surf ramp here you know basic surf ramp everyone likes surf right so uh, I might want to grab a different texture there we go uh, so um, let's just clip it like that make it a nice surf ramp Maybe, maybe do this. Okay, that looks good. Just, 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 just copy it and uh, wait. I didn't copy it. Well, uh, copy it and rotate it, and there we go. So, uh, our goal here today is uh, we're basically gonna make a curved uh, corner piece uh, that spans these two brushes flawlessly. Uh, we're going to accomplish this by using what I like to call template brushes. Uh, and uh, template brushes are uh, pretty much... Um, for example, in this in this shape here, uh, you can see that it's made up of um, several different um, vertical segments. Uh, for example, let me highlight one of those for you. Uh, so you can see it's basically this, this, this uh, same piece. Um, duplicated and uh, rotated around by some angle uh, multiple times and the end result is quite nice as you can see so we're gonna by the time we're done we're gonna have something similar here so uh, I'm gonna start off by um, taking taking the you know the, the ramp and just just sizing it down so uh, this is the base for our template brush uh, before before we start uh, I'd like to elaborate on something you cannot uh, rotate uh, brushes uh, around an arbitrary point ha and hammer uh, by themselves at least uh, you can only do so around their own origin for example if I did rotate 45 degrees on the z-axis you'd get something like this uh, yeah it, it, it got rotated around the origin and for example if I wanted to rotate it around this point uh, I wouldn't be able to do so on itself now this is where what I like to call helper brushes come into play so let's just make a brush here I guess maybe give it texture yeah trigger works so like like so and uh, basically uh, line it up uh, so uh, that uh, the helper brushes origin uh, meets the, the point uh, around which you want to rotate this brush so uh, just select both of those and uh, as you can see if we rotate them now by 45 degrees um, basically what we've accomplished is rotated this brush on its own around this point so if we delete delete this it's like nothing ever happened except that you you know rotate the rotated the brush the way you want it to so uh, 
yeah, as you can see, we have a 90 degree angle between these two brushes that we need to fill in. So um, let's maybe, let's say, uh, let's say we want to fill it in with uh, eight pieces. Yeah, eight sounds good. So I'm just going to bring up my calculator here, um, accessories calculator, and 90 divided by, uh, what was it? Eight, yeah, it was eight. So eleven point twenty-five, eleven point twenty-five. So uh, now we know that each segment needs to have an angle of uh, an internal internal angle of eleven point twenty-five degrees. So uh, if we jump back here, uh, pretty much uh, each of these little segments needs to have an angle of so this angle. Let me let me make it more clear. Uh, this angle from here to here needs to be 11.25 degrees um so let's go back here and uh we're gonna start now okay uh so in order to make uh to clip this brush uh to so so it has an angle of 11.25 degrees uh we're first gonna rotate both of these by half of that angle so half of 11.25 is five yeah yeah, 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 okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, once you rotate it by half of the angle, just uh, deselect the the helper brush and uh, clip the template brush um, by, like so. Afterwards, select both brushes again and rotate it, rotate them rather by uh, the negative of that angle. So, like so, and maybe just copy this. There you go. So. Uh, Top Hat Waffle does this trick where he uh, drags it off to the side and dr then drags it back in. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, this helps. I don't think it does, but uh, you can you can do it just to be safe if you want. Uh, okay, now that you've done that, just do do the same thing uh, except uh, in the opposite direction. So minus, deselect, clip, select, plus. Drag off, drag back in, maybe do this too. Okay, there we go. So uh, this right here is basically our template brush. Uh, so um, now that we have that, we can, you know, uh, drag it back here and make the corner piece itself. So let's do this and then uh, do Control C, Control Shift V. And yeah, eight, no, actually seven since we already have one. 0.25 and as you can see this will happen uh, this is bad this is bad this happens because uh, when you uh, paste special something so control shift V is paste special it's an it's an incredibly useful command you should use more often if you don't already so uh, and the brushes you uh, rotate when you paste special them uh, they have to be tied to the same entity or the, otherwise uh, they get rotated each around their own uh, each around its own respective origin so we're just gonna go Mm, control T these two together and then control C control shift V 11.25 and that looks pretty good mm, it isn't really if you look close you see this oh this is bad this is very bad indeed so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna have it like this lined up like so and now control T Control C, Control Shift V for sp for pay special, eight, eleven point twenty five, and there we go. Let's just uh, click on solids here and just get rid of these extra brushes, um, and then tie all of these to the same entity, which is a fun detail. So uh, now now we have a perfectly perfectly aligned corner piece on a surf ramp. Um, however, if if you uh, select uh, select these, you can see that uh, they overlap in two parts. So we're just gonna click on solids again and uh, select the two overlapping brushes and we're just gonna clip them uh, like so and uh, like so. So uh, that's that's pretty much it. That's your corner piece right there. A few things before I go. I'm perfectly aware that the corner on the surf ramp that I used as an example could have been made much easier using the arch tool, but again, it's just an example. We'll get to more complicated geometry in part 2. 
Also, uh, when I said that the dome would look perfect in game, it won't just look perfect, it will be perfect. Because VBSP will fix all those little floating point errors for you, and even if it doesn't, you can just use Vert Alert. So yeah, thank you for watching, thank you very much, and I'll see you in part 2.